Hi, my name is Aaron Varner, and I serve as the missions pastor at Central Community Church in Wichita, Kansas. Last fall, I had the opportunity of taking an exploratory trip to find out the inner workings of Church of God non for profit Children of Promise. I'd heard that Children of Promise was dedicated to rescuing, restoring, and releasing children from poverty and hopelessness, but I wanted to get more questions answered. Questions like, who does this? How do they do it? Where do they accomplish their mission? And so on. And the only way for me to effectively get those answers was to get a first-hand experience by traveling with Children of Promise's Executive Director and Development Director, Paul Maxfield and Kirk Bookout, to Thailand and Bangladesh. You know, last week a list was handed to me that was sent from our local elementary school with which we partner here at Central. I would requested the list because we want to help needy families purchase the school supplies their children will need to attend school next fall. But I was astonished at the length of the needs list. My kids are still only three and one, so I don't have school age kids yet, and I was totally unaware of the school supply list. Each kid needed to bring over 30 things for that list. My mind then did a quick flashback to last fall when I spent the afternoon with Paul, Kirk, and a group of kids who live in the rice fields of Bangladesh. The families that reside in these row of homes, if you can call it that, with a total footprint probably smaller than that of our office space here at the church, amounted to over 120 people. There are no bathrooms, no electricity, Cow dung littered the outside of the walls to dry out and later be used for fuel for the fires. And there's no school supply list of 30 things, and yet there is joy and health in a church. The local church is what cho keeps Children of Promise going in their host countries. I witnessed it myself. They are the ones who educate the kids in the ways of Jesus. They are the ones that help pass out nutritious food to the families of the kids in the program. They make sure the kids are not just learning about Jesus in Sunday school, but also learning in a school environment throughout the week. As I took the list of things that was needed for my nearby elementary school here in Wichita, I thought of the cost. All of those things added up to a great amount, and yet for $32 per month, just a fraction over a dollar per day, a child sponsored through Children of Promise gets so much more than just supplies. They get an education, nutritious food to feed the entire family, and are discipled in the way of Christ through the local church. If there's one thing I took away from my experience with Children of Promise, it's excellence. The volunteers in the 29 various host countries that Children of Promise works in, they serve with excellence as they coordinate the program on a national level and invest in future leaders. The finances and resource allocation is done with excellence with Children of Promise, from the minimal administration fee to the way the local churches stretch the funds to buy things in bulk. Central Community Church stands behind Children of Promise, and I'd encourage you to join us. You can join us in a couple of ways. First, I'd encourage you to take a trip with Children of Promise, similar to what I did. It's an investment that I believe will pay tremendous dividends as you experience their mission lived out. Second, I'd encourage you and your church to partner with Children of Promise financially. The way they keep administrative costs down for the sponsors is to have outside sponsorship as well. Currently, the administration fees per child sponsored are 20%, or $6.40 per month, well below the industry average. My dream is to get churches to partner with Children of Promise in such a way that 100% of the family's sponsorship money goes directly to the kids they sponsor. And lastly, I want to encourage your congregation to pick a Sunday and highlight the need for sponsorship of kids who can be ministered to by Church of God churches throughout the world through Children of Promise. The local church makes a difference in the lives of kids and you can help by choosing to sponsor a child yourself or getting others to do that. Children of Promise has selected two Sundays in 2016 to suggest as Children of Promise Sundays for your church. Those days are April 17th and September 25th. These are simply suggestions for you, but you can choose any Sunday or preferably Sundays you wish to promote Children of Promise and the opportunity for your congregants to make an impact in the kingdom by investing in young kids' lives around the world. May you be richly blessed as you and your local congregation join Children of Promise and Central Community Church as we all try to live the mission of making disciples of all nations.